Hey guys, I'm Alex from Technoclass.com, and today we're checking out the new Marshall Monitor headphones. This is obviously the Marshall brand as a popular brand uh, for guitar amps and some audio equipment and uh, the monitor is their flagship sort of uh, monitor type headphones. Uh, good audio quality with a nice uh, rock sort of a uh, vinyl and um, sort of looks like their amps design. So yeah, that is the um, Marshall monitor, it's priced at uh, 8850 It's a nice, very high quality audio, um, high audio quality headphones and we're checking it right now. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, so as previously mentioned, this is the Marshall Monitor and Marshall also launched a couple of other headphones. There's an in-ear minor and another uh, over-ear called the Major. Uh, but this, the Monitor is supposedly a higher ver higher end version than the Major and I I think it's, it's actually much better. Um, particularly uh, based on the design and the uh, build quality as you can see right here. There's a nice wraparound Marshall Monitor thing here. Uh, it's going to tell you a little bit about the FTF system, which is, um, let's see here, felt treble filter, which I will show you in a bit. So let's uh, remo remove this little thing. It tells, tells you the felt treble, treble filter. This is the audio response, as you can see, as flat as possible with a good amount of bass, good uh, mids, and the felt treble filter affects the treble area right there. And it gives you a warmer sound if you want it to. All right, so this is the headphones itself and uh, opens up like this looks really nice uh, a bit of cardboard over here and um, it's made of metal as you can see well at least the uh, the uh, the hinge right here is made of metal there's a nice vinyl coat vinyl um, stitching vinyl leather here and um, nice soft uh, padding on the ear cups as well uh, I believe this this area right here is plastic but it's fairly solid Marshall logo right there nice uh, nice uh, em em embossing embossing uh, two 3.5 millimeter jacks here you can plug anywhere you want so if you want it on the right side or the left side uh, also if you plug one on the right side you can plug another headphones on the left and you should be able to share your music um, let's see here so uh, as you can see on the device itself the uh, there's a bit of a wire here with a coiled thing that's pretty a nice touch and uh, in on the in inside here there's a metal um, left and right indicator as well and very nice uh, feeling um, leather vinyl red leather right there all right so looking at the uh, the uh, box in here let's uh, let's open the box from underneath here and as you can see you get a nice uh, canvas oops sorry I got a text right there a canvas case a canvas pouch and it has a Marshall logo right there really nice oh, as you can see it just closes up Inside here we have your, uh, looks like your wire and a little bit of a manual right here. What does it say? Ah, uh, yep, a bit of a warranty information, I guess. Um, yeah, so let's put that over there. Put that aside, put the pouch aside as well. And check out the wire right here. So this is the wire, it's about this long, I don't know, three feet, I, I guess, I'm not sure. Yeah, about three feet. Um, looks like uh, gold plated edges right there. And as you can see, there's a four pin over here and a 3-pin over here. The 3-pin actually connects to your uh, Marshall monitors and I'll just plug that in for demoing purposes. And there's an inline microphone because of the 4-pin plug. Uh, looks like gold-plated um, plugs right there, really nice, and a microphone as well. And uh, like I previously mentioned, you can plug it in on the left side, on the right side. I pr actually prefer the right side because my computer is on the right side and I listen on the computer much often, much more often than my phone. Uh, so I use that and actually, you can just flip it over uh, um, like this if you don't want the microphone working, <laughs> um, which is kind of interesting. Um, and uh, I haven't mentioned that the cable has a little bit of a small coil, which is nice. I don't like very thick coils like the like a uh, like old uh, rotary phone, but the small coil is uh, nice enough so you can bring it around and nobody will notice you have a big, fat coiled cable. Um, it's not a flat cable, but I don't think that matters. It's still the cord cable is 
much more preferred than the flat cable my, in my personal opinion. Over on the end of the cable right here as you can see there's a bit of a spring that protects it from bending. Uh, that, though I do notice that if you pull it from the spring it does come off. I don't know if that's just because this, uh, this Marshall monitor has been used before and someone might have uh, messed that up but I just push it in there uh, uh, in a bit and it comes back in. Um, so yeah. Uh, it's still a nice cable. I just uh, remember to pull it from the uh, from the tip here instead of the the uh, coil, uh, but that's just a minor thing. All right, so the Marshall monitors, uh, as we've mentioned before, has this thing called the felt treble filter, and as you can see, I just I can just remove the ear cups right here with no not much of a effort because this is just spring uh, not spring loaded uh, metal uh, magnet magnetic loaded. So as you can see, just snap it on there. It actually sits there very snug which is really nice um, but you you can never tell it's actually made of uh, magnets and this is the felt treble filter right here uh, this actually um, sort of uh, makes your your high end a little um, softer making your sound a little warmer um, my personal preference is this without this because I like my sound a little brighter maybe if you want to relax maybe listen to some nice soothing tunes maybe you can put this on there um, but my personal preference is you know without it so I just remove that right there, put the cover back on, and that's, I'll do that on the other side as well. Um, as you can see right there, it's it's magnetic. Just pull it off, and there we go. So it comes uh, the felt treble filter. All obviously comes with the headphones as well, so you you will have those uh, no problem. So yeah. All right, talking a little bit about the design right here. As you can see, it is stretchable. And um, there's about a dozen clicks uh, if you hear all that, and it stretches to be this size. You can all, you can um, you can change the clamping force by going like this, actually going like this, uh, or or, or you make it uh, more clampy by going like this. They say, and um, it also folds, as you can see right here. I'm not very good at folding. It folds like this uh, to a very nice small size. Very portable but still very sturdy and as previously mentioned this is metal this is really sturdy I haven't seen actually you haven't seen uh, a lot of uh, headphones in this price range with this much build quality this very strong build quality a lot of it with plastic or metal on the outside well metal on the outside it makes it sturdy but doesn't feel right to me this one with the uh, vinyl leather really feels warm to the touch really feels soft to the touch uh, and the ear cups feels great as well. Now this is the black version obviously. I don't know if there's other colors, but I prefer the black. It's really nice and the uh, it's just very subdued, very nice looking and looks like the amplifiers, uh, Marshall amplifiers as previously mentioned. Um, it, it doesn't matter if you're like hip-hop or, or rock or whatever. Um, I like the design either way. Um, it's not very like flamboyant like other uh, branded or, or celebrity celebrity uh, headphones, celebrity marketed headphones, which but it's still a Marshall headphone, so it's still a branded headphones. Either way, it still looks good to me, if you ask me. Uh, I think that's Chrome over there, uh, and then Chrome hinges over there. Uh, those hinges are gonna last you a while, obviously. So that's really nice. All right, guys, uh, with regards to audio quality, the audio quality on the Marshall monitor is actually very, very good. Um, the thing where it excels at is the low end and the high end. Uh, the high end is very, very clear and the low end does not uh, give up. Um, it just gives you a really nice bass, but not overpowered bass. It's just really nice bass. It doesn't break. The high end also doesn't... Uh, um, turn into a garbled, garbled mess I guess. If anything, uh, the mid-range is the weakest part but it's very flat um, which is not necessarily a, a bad thing. Uh, it's just not strong if you want something uh, around the mid-range with something like um, a lot of uh, strong uh, electric guitar which is kind of weird because this is a Marshall headphones and electric guitar is probably their number one uh, instrument if you ask me. All right, so if you want to talk about the uh, the technical specifications here, we have 40 millimeter drivers in there, uh, 10 to 20,000 hertz uh, frequency range with 42 ohms impedance, and the uh, the mic the the button here um, also serves as a forward button, I believe. So if you press it once, it'll pause the song. Press it once again, it'll play. 
press it twice, it'll move to the next track or something, I think. Um, there should be three taps, but I couldn't make it to work, but I think two taps is fine. As you can see right there. Alright guys, so I think that's about it for the Marshall Monitor headphones. I think it's very good. I think the design, the build quality is excellent. And the audio quality is just out, out there as well. So, this is a very good pickup for maybe uh, 10,000 pesos or below. Uh, this is priced at 8,950 as mentioned before. And this is probably one of the better sounding headphones that I've heard under 10,000 pesos. Probably barring a few other headphones out there. Um, so the pros on this thing is obviously the of the very, very sturdy build quality, foldable design. Um, most foldable headphones are very like squeakish and, and um, sounds really bad. Well, um, some of the joints are squeaky, so you will hear it when you when you have the headphones on. This is not squeaky at all, and the metal uh, the metal right here makes it very sturdy. I like the uh, soft uh, vinyl leather right here, makes it very warm to the touch, not cold to the touch. Um, so very classic design, as you can see right here, made of looks made to look like a Marshall monitor, a Marshall amplifier right there. The materials look expensive as well. Great noise isolation from the uh, from the uh, pardon the padding on the ear cups right there. Uh, excellent sound, doesn't distort. Good range. Um, so the felt trouble filter allows you to also give you a uh, option to have warmer sound. That's another positive. Uh, of course, you get extra features like the inline mic control, uh, coiled wire, gold plated connectors, and stuff like that. And um, my favorite uh, thing right here, favorite pro, is that it's not a celebrity um, branded flamboyant uh, pair of headphones, even though still a very good, um, with, with good pedigree of the brand right there. <clears throat> In terms of cons, um, so one thing I noticed that I have a large head and this, this started to get uncomfortable to me after maybe two to three hours of um, on if it's on my head for about two to three hours. I just needed maybe a few minutes rest and um, the headphones were fitting me perfectly again as well. So if, if you have a larger head, maybe this is, uh, you might need a little bit of rest if you wanna listen to this for more than three hours. Um, so the mid-range obviously is not as high as, I, as you would expect from a, from a Marshall uh, design, from a Marshall branded one for electric guitar. And last but not least, I guess, is the uh, missing existence of the 1.4 inch connector, which uh, probably plugs into amps. Uh, this being a monitor brand, a Marshall brand, uh, you would expect that they give you the uh, the adapter, uh, the uh, the cable adapter, or at least the uh, one fourth inch connector that goes onto amplifiers, uh, which is kind of weird. Obviously, that that can easily be bought elsewhere, but that's a bit of an omission, I guess, for them. Uh, but that's about it. So it's a really nice product, though, and uh, I really like it. I'm gonna give it four out of five stars. So that's about it, guys. I'm Alex from Technoclass.com. This is the Marshall Monitor headphones, really nice. Uh, price at 8,850, available around Digital Walker, Digital Hub, Beyond the Box, and other audio stores, obviously. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, if you like the video, please press the like button below. Add it to your favorites and or share it to your friends. If you got something to say, drop a comment in the comment box as well. Of course, more importantly, you should hit the subscribe button on top. This will keep you up to date with our new uploads and helps us out tremendously too. That's it, guys. See you next video.